Adam, what do you got on Brady's future? Jeff, this is breaking and coming in as we speak, but we are being told that Tom Brady, barring anything unforeseen, is expected to be a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Now, there is no signing plan right now, no press conference plan. A lot of people have been wondering if this would come up on the first day of the league year. What we do know is that Tom Brady is expected to be in Tampa with the Buccaneers, and it looks like that decision will come down at some point this week, whenever it may be, but it has been trending this way throughout the course of the day. The other teams that were in it recognized that they faced long obstacles in getting a deal done with Tom Brady. And so look right now, it is looking like Tom Brady is going to wind up as a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Wrap your mind around that one, Kevin and Jeff. <laughs> Tom Brady is a Buccaneer, but it looks like that is what's happening. Jeff, why don't you jump in because you've been all over this story as well alongside Adam. How did this come together, especially with the role of Bruce Arians? Well, I want to provide some context here. Going back to mid-February, actually, the Tampa Bay Bucks were lurking in the Round, recognizing through back channels that maybe Tom Brady was more serious about free agency than they initially anticipated. A lot of teams obviously overlooking the fact that Tom Brady might really be willing to leave the Patriots. When they recognized that, they looked at their own team and recognized have all of the pieces that Brady would potentially be looking for. And that's what got us to this week, when all of a sudden, that marriage starts to come together. We can point toward four things here that Brady was, in fact, looking for. A collaborative coach, he got it, in Bruce Arians. A roster, maybe not Super Bowl bound right well, that could change now, but one that wasn't necessarily on the cusp of being protected that way. Look, this is a deep roster that's very good. Brady wanted something like that. The third thing, warm weather, he's getting it. And then fourth and finally proximity to New York City for personal reasons, uh, because of his family, he's gonna get that too. It's an easy trip up the coast. So it honestly feels like a perfect marriage and yeah. it feels like we are headed right that direction. Let me say this, that Tampa Bay had a geographic advantage that other teams did not. The Chargers could not present to him a close flight, but I don't think he would have had an issue going that way. Now, no, again, the Chargers were informed sure. this afternoon. They were informed this afternoon that basically they did not think that they would be getting Tom Brady. And I think the Chargers have been holding out some hope that maybe they could get Tom Brady. That doesn't look like it's going to happen. And usually when teams get told, look, we're going in another direction, we're leaning in another direction, that's a sign that something is in the works. And I think Tampa Bay is very sensitive to this fact because they want this to be all Tom. They want it to be his show, his production, have him time this all the way he wants it to be. And the Buccaneers have stayed in the background in this particular situation. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is he is expected to be a Tampa Bay Buccaneer and what turns out to be in the NFL, a transformational day where Tom Brady announces that he's leaving New England. And later in the day, of course, it is reported here that he is expected to be a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Tom Brady's 42, six rings here. He's not just joining an organization to just continue to play till he's 45. He still wants to win. Moving forward, what does this do now for the Bucs? Will they still be big time players in free agency after this? Well, Kevin, most of the free agents are basically signed up and the Buccaneers took their shot. They signed JPP back. They franchised Shaq Barrett, who they'll bring back. And now they're going to wind up signing Tom Brady here. He's going to be a Buccaneer. So teams have certain dollars. Now they were well situated here, but they can now go ahead and make more moves. But again, a lot of the top free agents are off the board. Free agency has been very fast moving the last two days. A lot of players were tagged. And I can tell you that the Chargers were in a situation where they were waiting to see if they can make certain moves on a decision from the quarterback. And it looked like it was going in a certain direction. And of course it does with Tom Brady winding up going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers here. Hi everyone, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, more analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.